Williams, good ball fake. Wow. Payne at the top. Fires from long distance and buried the three. Cam Payne says, I'm a pretty good guard myself. Left side, three on the way. Front of the rim on Payne, but the tomahawk stopped by Williams. Two, it's Sam, throws it up to Frayer at the buzzer, he banked it in! He banked it in from 35 feet at the buzzer! Hi everybody and welcome to the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm. He's still smiling because the racers just keep on winning as we come into this week in the Saturday game against Austin P. The Racers looking for their 22nd straight win. They clinched the OVC title last weekend with a win at SEMO, which we're going to show you in just a moment. But coach, before we uh, get in uh, to what's going on this week, let's first show everyone uh, we're down to three games left in the season and it's all going to start Saturday here at the CFSB Center. One o'clock tip, we're on the CBS Sports Network and we want to fill the bank on Saturday, so be out with us Saturday as the Racers take on the Governors. And then next Thursday night, it's senior night as we say goodbye to a great group of seniors with Murray State as the Racers host Eastern Illinois. That'll be on the OVC Digital Network. And then a week from Saturday, February 28th, the Racers finish up the regular season at UT Martin with a six o'clock tip at the Elam Center. And that's also on the OVC Digital Network. Well, Coach, you guys just keep getting it done. A uh, great week last week, a win over SIU and then the win against SEMO, which we'll show in just a moment. But you got to be really happy with your team. Yeah, just pleased. That, that, that was fun Saturday. I mean, that was just, you know, I said it earlier, when you lose like we did two years ago to Belmont, and then you lose like we did with SEMO last year, you burn to win one again. And uh, it was fun. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and uh, set the tone here as uh, we're going back to Cape Girardeau this past Saturday. Uh, it was a 7 o'clock tip at the CFSB Center. Actually, I guess it was a 6.30 tip. And we're going to go ahead. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Um, so let's go ahead and roll the tape here and take a look at it. And Coach, you, you talk about high-level games. The game we played at Eastern Illinois was a high-level game. This, this was as well. Yeah, you know, SEMO is really good. I think they're really talented. They've got good players that can really score. they got good size. and. You know, we have to play well to beat them, and, and we really had to bring it, uh, especially in the second half. Well, what, what you're going to see in the, in, this, in the highlights as we go along here, the Racers had the lead uh, here in the first half until about the 737 mark. Uh, Jones hit a couple of threes for SEMO. And, Coach, you guys had to play from behind or tied for 29 minutes and didn't get the lead until overtime. And it was just an amazing testament how you guys just kept uh, just keeping your hopes alive and not quitting and then finding a way. Well, we got good kids, uh, good character guys that have worked hard, they've come a long way, and, and they deserve that moment, they had earned that moment. And that's the best part, when you earn that moment and then you have it. Okay, so that dish uh, from Sapp to Farrell, that was the last lead the Racers had in the first half. Uh, Seymour uh, then got it to Sapp, and then Jarvis Williams hits the hook in the paint, but the Racers were down by four. Williams hit another one, but the Racers are down by six. I thought, Coach, in the last part of the first half there, you guys made some key buckets just to keep it un under 10. Well, that was the big thing. I kept telling my staff, I said, man, let's just get it, man. It was kind of hovering around eight. I said, man, let's just get this thing to four or five and get our butts to the locker room, and we were able to do that. Well, good good steal and slam uh, by Jarvis or uh, for Jonathan Farrell. That was a really nice play here. And then with under 10 seconds to go in the half, the racers just have a good way of uh, finishing the half, so they're down by five at the half. And now we go into the second half, and Coach, you guys got it tied real quickly right out of the gate. It was 46-46, but then uh, fell behind again after that. Yeah, you know, we just, you know, you got to get stops. And, uh, you know, we weren't very good defensively, you know, up there. We were, we were hugging our man. Um, you know, we gave up too many easy baskets in transition. You just can't do that on the road. Uh, there was a three-pointer by Jeffrey Moss, and the, the game just kind of kept going back and forth. Here was a good play here, where you guys just kept after it, and then finally got a big dunk by Jarvis Williams. Yeah, that was kind of I think that yeah. tied it at 60 right there. If I if the scoreboard was right, and yep. that's a big floater there. We just kept, you know, we just kept hanging in there. They kept, you know, they came to the bench. They were still positive, and we just kept talking. Hey, there's a lot of time left. You know, it's a three-possession game. Let's just hang around here and see what happens. 
Okay, so then Ma, uh, Payne hit the deep three, then Moss hit the shot there at 78-75, and then that was a big one right there. Sapp hit the three that uh, tied it at 78-78. Take us down the, the stretch here, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a big three in row, but you know, Cam's fouled out right now, and yep. you know, we, we made a, he made a huge play, you know, that was a big time three by him. He really stepped up and that right there, I, I think, does that cut it right there? That cut it to two, I think. Uh, uh, we three. ran our little quickie action. I think that cut it to two and then we had yeah, to 80, foul. 84, 82, right? We had to foul. Bradley fortunately missed one, made one, and then we got a break on now, the foul. I think they were trying to foul Sapp before yeah, he Yeah, they were shot trying off, right? to foul him, I think, and you know, because we had to, he, Sapp kind of had to alter what we wanted to do because they were trying to foul and he split the double team and I think because they were trying to foul, Cleveland kind of ran through the play and hit them. So in the overtime, the racers start off 6-0 run, but then Simo has a 7-0 run, and then right there, Tyler Rambo comes in and hits uh, two free throws with 33 seconds left, and uh, then Sapp got fouled here. He made one out of two, and then tell us about the last play. You held him off one more time. Yeah, you know, we got up six, and I thought our shot selection once we got up six wasn't very good. I thought we settled. Uh, they got back up. Rambo, huge free throws. Wayne, a huge steal. And then we just made a great stop at the end. And uh, we were fortunate to get out of there with a win and then let the celebration begin. Well, and uh, it really was, uh, it was a heartfelt celebration. As you could see, there was a big contingent of racer fans that were there. And then, uh, Coach, we went inside the locker room, and a lot of folks have seen this on GoRacers.com. Man, the guys just let it out, didn't they? Yeah, and they needed to. They sure deserved did. to. And, you know, it was... Uh, that was a lot of fun, man, and as a coach, that's what you want to see. Well, it was also uh, Coach Small's birthday. Too, yeah, so it was. That, so they yep. were singing happy birthday to him, too, at, in the midst of all that. And you know, we see you back over in the corner. You're just taking it in, aren't you? Yeah, and that's what it's about. I just It's a, it's a kid's game. It's a player's game. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're just the coaches, and each team's different, and this is their team, and that's their moment, yeah. and they need to enjoy it. Well, uh, just congratulations to the racers. A big 94-92 uh, win at SEMO in overtime and it clinched the uh, 24th OVC championship at Murray State. Uh, the last eight coaches uh, with the Racers have all won OVC titles. That, that's pretty special. Um, if so they now, didn't, they wouldn't be here. They, they wouldn't have been there for too right. long. So. That's right. That's right. You know, you're talking about our uh, seniors. I yeah. looked at the other day. If we can win these last two games, they'll finish 31-2 and two at home. That's, that's incredible. I think it's 31-2. and two. We yeah. were 17-1 last year, and I think we're uh, – 12 and yeah, one right now. That, that's that's incredible. The racers have also uh, uh, close to the lead in the nation right now with 10, 10 road victories uh, this season as well. So, okay, well, let's kind of uh, maybe get the fans caught up on this week. Um, and the reason we're taping a little later, coach hit the road to do some recruiting. Uh, we also had a major snowstorm that came through that uh, shut our university down the whole week. But th this bunch has still had to get some practice. Yeah, you know, we, we uh, it was a long week. So uh, Sunday we were off like normally at study mm -hmm. hall. Monday they were off totally. But good thing is, is when they're coming, they're still getting shots up, you know. Yep. And so they did that. And then Tuesday we lifted weights, had individual workouts. And I got back in town on Wednesday and practiced. And today we just finished up practice. This is Thursday evening. And then mm -hmm. we'll get one more good one in before we play P. And, uh, it's a Saturday afternoon, early afternoon game, so we won't have a shoot around. We'll just practice tomorrow and then we'll be ready to go. Well, Coach, uh, how, how big would it be to come in here Saturday afternoon and have a sellout here, here at the bank to greet the uh, Austin P. Governors when they come in and also national TV audience? Yeah, national TV, a great rival, so much respect for their program and their coach and you know what they've been able to do there over the years. And so we're going to have to be ready. You, you follow the games. you got to be ready every night regardless your opponent, regardless who you play, where you play. And so hopefully we'll have a great environment. The people that traveled up to SEMO, amazing. That was an awesome, awesome scene. Okay, well, um, we're going to knock it off for this week, but we'll be back next week on the Racer Report, and uh, we'll be wrapping up the Saturday game and then get you ready for another big week next week. So lots of work for this team to, to, to accomplish, and we hope that they can keep it going. So, Coach, thanks for sitting down. Thanks. Appreciate, Appreciate you, Dave. Thanks, okay. guys. Okay, Head Coach Steve Prohm, and we'll see you next time on the Racer Report. On the near sideline. One bounces it out to Williams. Thought of shooting. Now he does and hits the 17 footer. Whips it to the free throw line to Farrell. Right side Moss for three on the wing and it's good. Out of the hands of Newton and the Racers have it. Bain drives in the lane, dishes it off to Moss, off the glass and in. 5 0 run. Bain goes inside for his floater. Put it up and in. 
through the contact. O'Fane will have a chance for a three-point play. Seymour, he's at the point, works left side with a left-hand dribble, finds Sapp, back to Seymour, an open look, three, good. And to Flomo, got to Seymour for the catch and shoot three, that one's halfway down, goes out, but Farrell put it back up and in. At the point, works at the pain, right elbow extended, finds Moss, 17 footer, got it. Boy, it's good to see him hit the ball. Good shot. Moss leads, all scores with nine. A steal. Williams finds Payne. Payne looks for the shot. Actually, the pass off the backboard. It bounces back to Williams. First point spins. Payne doesn't want the deep three. Drives inside. Gets free and just underhands it up and in. Right side, it goes to Seymour. Back to Payne. He looks left, throws right. Rambo has it, bounces it down low to Williams, puts the hook up on the baseline, threatens to come out, but stays in. Williams has six. Rebound Sapp, he finds Payne at the top. Payne looks for Sapp, goes inside for the floater and hit it. Weak screen as the pass goes into the corner. Simo loses the defender, drives and puts it up and in. Henry goes underneath on a double team, swatted out, but Henry gets his own rebound, goes back up, and it's swatted out again by Williams. Two blocks on one play. Sapp coast to coast, lays it up and in. Block with a bounce pass to Farrell. Double down, splits it, drives and rattles it in. In deep range, decided not to pull the trigger. He'll drive inside, put it up and in. Bain gets a screen from Farrell for the three, and he finally got one. There's the open look. Sapp rebounds off to Bain. Top of the key, Payne sees an opening, drives, dishes to Williams, who stuffed it. To Payne, mid-block extended, elbow underneath, it is Farrell, had a shot blocked, Williams picks it up, Van Payne from 25, buried it. Drive the other way, Moss off the glass, the patented floater is up and in. That's campaign pushing that basketball. Down to the mid-block, they double down on Williams, jump pass to Moss, goes through two defenders and lays it off the glass, good. Goes to Seymour, deep on the wing, dead on the shot clock. He finds Moss behind the three-point line. He buries another three. Circles to Sam. Ball fake, goes in the paint. Finds Seymour, rather Flomo, for three, and it's good. Corner three by Sam. It kicks off hard. Rambo rebounds, goes back up, and rattles it in. Gets to Farrell out top to the right side paint. Gets a screen from Farrell. Dishes it inside. Farrell off the glass and in, absorbs the contact, draws the foul. Payne at the top, shovels it to Moss, back to Payne. Baseline drives and stuffed it. This is a one four set for Cuomo. Behind the back dribble, spins, dishes to Langston, off the glass and in. Work a one four set. Right corner three is gone by Jeff Martin Jr. The Racer Report with Steve Prohm is brought to you by Ruth Brothers Wine and Spirits, serving you for 50 years with two locations in Paducah, Kentucky. And by Pepsi Mid-America. Sign up today at Pepsi.com to earn Pepsi experience points and earn rewards. And by Campus Evolution Villages in Murray, the best in student living. Call 270-767-1818 to plan your tour today. And by Kentucky Community and Technical College System, higher education begins here.